Winter is a great time, thanks to skiing and to Christmas. But not so long ago, you were actually having fun under the hot summer sun and rumping in the sea. Your suntan complexion made you look attractive and... Hey, but wait, something's wrong. What happened between this and this? Well, you tanned, but how does it work? Sunlight is composed of infrared light, visible light and ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light is the one responsible for tanning, and it exists in three types, UVA, B, and C. UVA composes 95% of the UV rays and are responsible for the first rapid tanning. UVB serve the long-term tanning. Finally, UVC are the most dangerous ones but are blocked by the ozone layer. When exposed to the sun, so do the UV rays, two main phenomena occur in the skin. First, cells at the surface of the skin, called keratinocytes, divide intensively to strengthen and protect your skin. That's why you have the impression your skin has thickened by the end of summer. Second, cells called melanocytes, also at the surface of the skin, produce a pigment called melanin. Melanin is produced to absorb UVB and to prevent them from damaging deeper cells of the body. So melanin is the pigment that makes you look tanned. So this is how it works. But sometimes it's not that easy. The UVB light may also excite your DNA and cause damage to it. The body reacts by increasing melanin production to prevent further injury and repair it. This increases cause an inflammatory process that makes your skin turn red and induces the sunburn. The pain is caused by overproduction of a protein which activates nerve fiber, so don't forget to protect yourself. One last fun fact is the perception of tanning. Today in Europe, being tanned is cool, but did you know that in the past rich people shouldn't be tanned, otherwise they would have looked like farmers spending all day working in the field. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon!